All right, hello, welcome to another edition of Photoshop. Today's lesson, HowStuffTutorials.net slash lesson files. We are going to be using 0309 JPEG. Uh, this shot is a very dark shot. Um, somebody forgot to use their flash within a church. Uh, you know, it's one of those trips that you might have took once in your lifetime, and yet, or they weren't allowed to use a flash within the church would probably be my better guess because that's that's how it is in uh, Europe. You know, you can actually go into the churches, bring your camera sometimes, but you're not allowed to use a flash because it, it damages the artwork. Okay, so if we take this and copy, and I got this in Photoshop, but I want the one off the internet, how new, and then OK, and then edit paste. We have the shot. Okay, so there's several different ways to handle this because there's several different ways you can screw up the camera, uh, the shot itself. Okay, for one, you know, the, the light information might be already embedded within this thing. You just don't know. If you go to the histogram, you can see the histogram actually points quite a bit up. So I, I know that there is enough information within here because I got a nice spike and then I got this thing that goes up that it will handle uh, a lot of different ways to fix this picture. So knowing that, now that's one way to kind of tell if you can fix it very quickly. If this histogram is kind of flat, you know that you're, you're going to be doing a lot of laborious intensive things to actually get this to go right. So I'll go through the several methods. Uh, the first method I would pick is go to image adjustments levels. This allows me to adjust the histogram. So if I was to bring up the histogram on this in this direction, you can see that I can get, you know, a lot of the detail back in the shot. But what'll happen is sooner or later you're you're gonna end up blowing out pixels. This regardless of what you do is always going to be the case because you are brightening up an object or a picture you know outside its range so you're always going to end up blowing out pixels so that's one way if you just hit OK that that's one way to do it so I'm going to hit cancel to that another method is image adjustments exposure exposure ratios if I rank this up into this range right here. You can see I can start ringing up that exposure ratio and you notice some things are staying darker in that area. It's doing a lot better job of uh, handling the detail like this back here I can actually see those lines that make up the window still. If I was to offset it I can get a very washed out look but I could put some of the contrast back into it. Okay, so I'm going to hit cancel. The third option is something that I would do last resort. The only reason being that it really does destroy pixels. But if you have a shot that is almost completely in the dark, uh, this will actually figure it out. So, image, adjustment, shadow highlight. Okay, and you're like, wow, it's so blown out. And you're right, it is blown out. And if I was to just adjust the shadow amount down and the highlight amount a little bit, you can see that I get a pretty nice, decent job of it, though. You know, I could still capture these details in the background, way, way in the background. You can still see those. I have the ability to go show more options where I can get further confused on how many different things I can really adjust within here. So depending on your level of skill as you know a photographer um, some of these options might be very easy for you to adjust but you know the average Joe and it all depends what kind of picture it is and what kind of lens it was taken with and everything where I would have to go in here and adjust just the highlights just make adjustments to the color and uh, just the shadows in most cases you're just going to be dealing with the shadows these other two are very, very fine 
adjustments that you might do in worst worst case scenario. Okay, so let's say I get it halfway done. You know, I have this and I can then stack another one in here. And go to new adjustment layer. Okay, so before I was just applying it to the picture, but this time I can go to the levels of it, hit OK, and I can just adjust the levels based on this layer. The difference is this I can actually turn down on the opacity. See? And make very fine line adjustments to it. Okay, so let's go back a second. And to go back, view history. And you can see I have uh, the shadow highlight. I'm just going to go to the paste. And let's do this another way. Let's go to the layers palette and go layer new adjustment layer levels and OK in this level I'm going to raise up the levels on it something like that OK image adjustments and this time I'm going to whoop, layers new adjustment layer let's go to photo filter and let's go to exposure okay in this one I can raise the exposure ratio a little bit this way see if I get too high it's going to be look like that but in here I can tone everything down a little bit And let's do another one. New adjustment layers. There's also brightness and contrast. This one I might make a little brighter. Okay, with the three in place now, I can really go to town on what level of adjustment between exposure levels and brightness and contrast okay so not too bad I got all the level details in the background still I got a little bit of dark going on but I can really go to town on adjustment Okay, so your mission as a student is uh, to take this shot and basically make it so I can see the row of chairs. Okay, so I'm not going to ruin it. You're going to be able to do it based on what I have given you. So you're not going to see every detail on these rows of chairs, but you're going to see, you know, uh, maybe some of the, the highlights on top of them and at least make out that they are chairs. Alright, so that's it for the lesson. Enjoy, and until next lesson.